up? It's your boy Eddie Steady 214. I bring you battle rap recast breakdowns, predictions, hip hop news, and much more. Did you hear what WAC 100 said? He going in on Averb, like right now, on Clubhouse. Going in on him. Um, whew. I'm going to just break down most of the stuff he's saying. Uh, this all came about because Aver attacked him, you know, uh, on his morning spaces. He was going in on the game. And basically what he was saying was that during the COVID and during lockdown, you mainstream rappers had to do other shit to get money. And battle rappers didn't. They were still getting money. Y'all had to stoop low and, and show dick prints and do all kind of weirdo shit to make money during the pandemic. He was saying battle rappers ain't have to do that. Um, both of these niggas is out of pocket and wrong, though. A-Verb is wrong and WAC 100 wrong. WAC 100, he wrong for saying battle rappers ain't got no talent and can't rap. You know what I'm saying? Uh, second of all, uh, he also wrong by saying they don't make no money. They make money. It may not be like Verb saying make money is mainstream rappers, Cause at the end of the day, they got other people in their pocket who uh making their shit blow, and not only that, but they gotta pay back money. So motherfuckers investing in you, you gotta pay that money right back. Which Averb was saying, uh, it's basically cutting out the middleman. You ain't gotta worry about no financial advisor fucking you out your money in battle rap. You get to hold on to your own money. You know what I'm saying? That's if you, if you got a manager watching your money and all that. Uh, but the industry will fuck you around. Not only that, but the industry ain't even got talented people like that. You It's well known that you can sell your soul and be at the top of the fucking food chain in the music by selling your soul, signing a contract. Uh, they could basically make you a celebrity overnight. You know what I'm saying? I look at people like, I don't want to say no names, but you know Old Town Road. You know 6 9 people like that. They just was a celebrity overnight. Yeah, anybody else who... If they can't go in front of a crowd of people and still stun without a production crew, then really how talented are they? You done seen all kind of singers when they ain't got their backup music, backup singers. When it's just them, acapella on their voice, they ain't really all that. You know what I'm saying? They singing ain't, you know, up to par than what you thought it was. But I'm going to say battle rappers are way more talented than mainstream rappers. The money may not show it, but... Think about it. Some of the best artists mainstream came from battle rap. You look at Eminem. You look at French Montana. You look at Busta Rhymes. You look at Jada Kiss. You look at all the, the the best rapping MCs. They all was on that corner battle rapping each other. And um, if you got battle rap, then you sure can make it in the industry. Because all you're doing is taking your raps and making substance to it. It could be you rapping about a girl. It could be you rapping about your car. You know. I feel like just the industry, you make it a little bit more other than it being your opponent who you, you know, writing for the last couple of months. You know what I'm saying? Who can um, outwrap each other also by dissing each other, too. There are some mainstream artists out there that I think would make it to battle rap, but then a lot of them wouldn't make it. And the way we show this is, I'm going to just say I like this energy, battle rap versus mainstream. I like this energy here. Uh, Cause maybe one day this could actually fill up an NBA arena with fans that want to pay their money to see who really would make it if it was the top battle rappers against the top uh, MCs. But then it wouldn't be about money; it would all be about who the nicest, and that would bring what we need in battle rap anyway. We need it to be more competitive. So I love it. Averb, salute. Whack 100, salute y'all. Hopefully more people join this conversation. And um, we can get a mainstream versus battle rap going and get some more talk in the battle rap. Because battle rap, like I say, is falling off. It's falling off so bad, motherfuckers turning on each other. You know what I'm saying? Crabs in a bucket mentality. But y'all have a blessed day, man. I had to touch on this subject. It's still going down right now. You can still catch it. Whack going in on them. But salute to everybody. Y'all have a blessed day.